This is JVC's Big Boy high-end radio with every loaded feature they could think of. Boasting both wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a clear resistive touch monitor, wireless high-res playback, and USB mirroring on both iOS and Android. JVC brings only the best of the best. At a whopping price point of $900, this radio surely has some of the latest and greatest features up to date. Or does it? Stay tuned as we break down this head unit and all of its amazing features in this week's review. Hey y'all, my name is Josh, I'm with Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the YouTube channel that reviews, demos, and goes over the latest aftermarket automotive accessories like car audio, performance, suspension, and more. Because we don't drive stock. And if you're like us, join the Breakers Upgrade Nation and subscribe to this channel. Okay, hit the button. With the ongoing chip shortage and a vast majority of people looking to buy a radio, JVC still manages to stay on top with supply and demand. Diehard Kenwood fans have been waiting months and months for Kenwood to release new stock, with no luck so far. But within the same corporation, JVC has you covered. If you want something comparable to Kenwood Exelon, JVC's KW-V960BW has it all. Okay, let's jump into it. We're gonna give you a rundown on this radio that will include some of the features, the unboxing, and give this thing life to demonstrate it. And for the conclusion, we'll go over some of the pros and cons on our list, and lastly, we'll conclude with our overall thought on this unit. Sweet, okay, here are the features. This is a 6.8 inch screen with a resistive touchscreen. It gives out vivid colors to bring out more from the picture that you're viewing. As mentioned before, this unit brings you both wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto to make getting your navigation and music streaming easier when you're out on the road. High resolution flak and wave playback through the USB, built-in LDAC for wireless high res streaming, customizable backgrounds and live wallpaper a 13-band equalizer, and JVC's exclusive K2 technology to enhance and elevate the playback of all its audio sources. 50 watts of max power in each channel, 5 volt, 6 channel pre-outs for front, rear, and sub-connection through the RCA, dual USB connection, 3 inputs for front, rear, and side cameras, not to mention the new operating system, JVC has come out with a more playful and spacious operating system that fully complements the use of their gestures and swiping commands. More on that later. This does have time alignment and listening position settings to fine tune the delay of each speaker to bring you the best sound staging, sound response, and sound lift to fully fine tune the realism as if you were at a concert sitting in the front row. Let's get a quick tech tip from Jake before we continue. Yo, what's up guys? This is Jake from Breaker Stereo. Just wanted to give you guys a quick tip when you get your new radio. So real quick, when you guys get a new radio, I know seeing on the settings that bass boost and loudness are very tempting, but never, ever, ever touch them. We actually get a lot of customers coming back in for warranty work because of the fact that they blow out their speakers. Reason being is because they're actually using the bass boost and loudness. The reason why we know this is because of the fact that when we go into the settings to see what they ended up doing themselves, we see that a lot of these things are turned up higher at the same time too. We go to their equalizer and everything is just turned up like crazy. Instead, how about consulting with a technician that actually installed this stuff? Or if you're really looking for bass, maybe get a sub with an amplifier. That'll help you out. Okay, back to the features. This unit does do wireless mirroring for supported Android devices and wired mirroring for iPhones, a microphone for hands-free calling, a GPS antenna for accuracy when using navigation apps. This unit also plays CDs and DVDs. Okay, let's do the unboxing. Okay, let's check this out. All right, so we have our GPS antenna for your navigation apps, your main harness, Bluetooth mic, mounting hardware, and your dual USBs and then your manual. Okay, so this is a full depth double din chassis because it does have your DVD player and CD player. So there's a front of your radio, 6.8 inch resistive touch screen. You do have some buttons here on the top and then one button here on the side. All right, so here are our video ins and outs. We have a video output, a the rear view camera input, front camera input, and then the third view camera input. This is your AM FM antenna input, front, rear, and sub RCA outputs, 5 volt pre-out, 
There is an additional AV output. You will need a 3.5 millimeter adapter for that. This is your microphone input, GPS antenna input, your main harness input, and then you do have an audio video input as well, along with the dual USBs. And then this plug here, and this plug here is for your iDataLink Maestro piece. And then this plug here is for your Sirius XM input. Okay, let's get into the demo. We'll start with the home screen here. JVC added the gesture and swiping commands to this radio, making it easier to use. Doing a circular motion on the home screen clockwise allows you to turn the volume up, and then counterclockwise will turn the volume down. When scrolling through the different widgets, you use two fingers to scroll to the left or to the right. This allows you to choose different types of widgets that appear on the screen. Swiping two fingers down also allows you to change the layout. So you can either have split widgets or one widget. Okay, that covers that. Let's go to the main menu. Here we have our setup, our AV display, user interface camera, special Bluetooth and security. Let's go through AV. Here you're able to select your Apple CarPlay devices, speech quality adjustment, your audio video output, and then your Wi-Fi setup is here. On to display, you have your wallpaper that you can customize. So there's a couple different 3D wallpapers you can choose from or static wallpapers as well. You could also upload your own wallpapers via USB through here, you can adjust your viewing angle. So this will actually change the way the screen looks depending on how much of an angle you see it from the driver's seat. Next, we have user interface. You can choose from small text to larger text, your widget setups here, your beep on or off. And then you can also turn on and off the gesture touch controls. Touch panel adjustment is here. You can go through this and this will make it more accurate. Next, we have our cameras. So you can set up your camera assignments here. You have your rear, your front, and your third video here as well. So you would need to activate those if you added these other features. Parking guidelines on or off. And then you could also set up the guidelines to your liking as well. If you have a front camera setup, you can also go in here and set up the front camera interruption. When you put it into drive, the front camera will automatically come up. And then you can set how many seconds you want it to come up from 10, 15 to 20 seconds. Next is special. Demo on or off, operations guide display. This is your software information. Here you're able to see what software version is running on your radio. And then if you wanted to start it over, you can just completely initialize the radio here. And that'll set everything back to stock. Bluetooth menu is here, pretty straightforward there. And then your security, you can set a security code if you like. So if power goes away from this radio, you would need a code in order to turn it back on. All right, let's talk about audio. So here we have our speakers selection. So here you can select what speakers are actually in your vehicle. So if you, let's say you have 6.9s in the front, you're able to select 6.9s here, okay? And then you can pick the location. So if it's a lower door, upper door, on dash, also same with the rear. And then on the subwoofers, you can choose the subwoofer size that you have here. Next, you have the EQ. This is your equalizer. This is a graphic EQ. You can simply run your finger across it to adjust it or just pick a point, move up and down. So it's really easy to use. You also have your subwoofer level control here as well. And then you have your base EXT on or off. Next, you have your listening position. So we have a couple defaults here. You can do front left if you like, and that will default it towards the driver, the passenger, front all or all, even front focus. Now, you could get in here and completely adjust this doing true time alignment. So you're gonna measure from the middle of the speaker to let's say the driver's side headrest and then each speaker as well to that driver's side headrest. And that's how you set up your time alignment. Balance and fader is here. And then you have your volume offset. So every one of your sources, you can adjust independently from each other. So let's say the radio plays a little bit louder than the USB, then you can adjust accordingly. So here you have zone control and you're able to choose different zones. So in your dual zone, let's say, if you wanted to select your rear zone and you want the rear speakers to play, let's say the AV input that's going into this radio, those back speakers will play, let's say in this case, a DVD on the back speakers by themselves. And then in the front, you can select whatever you want here, the tuner, the XM series, AV in, off, or Apple CarPlay, so on and so forth. Okay, next we have sound effect. Now, Jake already covered this with you guys, so I won't go over that again. And last, we have audio memory, and here you can save and recall audio settings. Okay, let's take a look at Apple CarPlay. So right now, my phone's hooked up. This does have wired and wireless. So as you can see, my phone is, it's on and there's no wires there. And CarPlay is appearing here on the screen. All right, I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail here. You guys already know how this works. You're gonna be able to access all your music apps like iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora, and Apple Music as well. Also navigation apps like Apple Maps, 
Google Maps, and also Waze, and then communication apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and of course, standard text messaging as well. All right, so let's check out the wired mirroring feature. As you can see, I have my phone plugged in. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download the JVC app first. It's called Mirroring for JVC. Once that's downloaded, let's go ahead and hit USB mirroring here. Here's how you do this. You wanna set the screen record up. Okay, and you wanna hold that button down for a second. And then on here, you're gonna scroll until you get to mirroring for JVC. Tap that there, and then it should broadcast. All right, there you go. From here, I'm able to mirror my phone, as you guys can see. Now on the Android, you actually could control the screen from the face of the radio. With iOS, you're not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna have to use the phone, okay, in order for that to work. So let's say if I wanted to go to YouTube, that will mirror there for me. Okay, let's check some other apps to see if they work. We can try maybe Disney Plus. I don't think this will work, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so as suspected, it's not working. As you can see on my phone, there is an image, but on the radio, there is not. And this is gonna hold true for other applications like Netflix and Hulu as well. So for the most part, the only thing you'll really be able to use is YouTube. Okay, next, let's take a look at Android Auto. All right, that's Google Maps there. Here is your screen. From here, you can control the applications that are gonna be available to you. There's not a lot on my phone here or on this particular Android phone, but if you had things like YouTube Music, Spotify, Pandora, that will all populate here. Also, Waze will transfer over as well. Okay, let's take a look at the mirroring aspect of this. Okay, so on here, as you can see, we're mirroring our Android. And as I mentioned earlier, you can control the phone from the face of this radio, unlike the iPhone. Okay, and before we wrap this up, let's just take a look at your source menu here. So here, as you can see, you have our mirroring options, Bluetooth, USB, iPod, Series XM. You are gonna need to add the Series XM tuner in order for that to work, of course. Disc player, which plays DVDs. You have your AVN, your audio, which will take you to your audio settings. And then all these that are ghosted out here, those will appear once you have the iDatalink Maestro piece hooked up. And these are also reserved for that as well. Okay, that'll wrap it up. Let's now get into the pros and cons of this JVC. The screen is very bright and offers very vivid bright colors. Now the downside to the screen is the resolution only goes up to 480p, which isn't great to competing brands that have 1080p resolution within this price point. The sound quality is most definitely up to par compared to Kenwood radios. After all, many of those in the market for a Kenwood do enjoy a certain sound signature that Kenwood brings to your sound system. The con in this part is the radio does not come with an optical output if you resort to going for a full sound quality setup in your vehicle. Audio files, you may want to wait a while if you're looking to run that. For being over $900, you would expect an HDMI input as well to stream your iPhone to your radio. Unfortunately, you'd have to run an HDMI to composite adapter to achieve full mirroring. Due to the screen being responsive, it's not as great as a capacitive touchscreen, meaning the screen will actually not be as fluid to your touch. The dynamic GUI was an added feature to make up for the loss in responsiveness. So at least being able to do multiple functions on the screen is pretty handy when it comes to accessibility. Like each and every one in this world, nothing is perfect. To some, this radio can be a huge upgrade compared to the last. For others, this radio could fall short when it comes to certain features. I feel this radio could have been more for what it truly is. At times, small details could make the biggest differences. Realistically, there could be a bit more room for improvement. Although I have to take into consideration the recent changes within the world's times. Companies are struggling to keep up with demand when supplies are so limited. As JVC pumps out more and more radios for all of us to enjoy, we can only thank them for providing us with what we feel still is some of the best products in the industry. This radio does exactly what a lot of people are looking for in terms of a higher price radios. Although there are competitors that have surpassed them with better high def screens, HDMI inputs, and better chassis, JVC maintains the fact that their radios just sound better than others. But that's just my personal opinion. For those reasons, I'm gonna give this radio a four and a quarter star. To find out more about this radio or to purchase this radio, simply visit our website at www.breakersstereoandperformance.com. Remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, that's gonna do it. Make sure to hit both the like and subscribe buttons. Again, my name is Josh. I'm from Breakers Stereo and Performance. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.